In a world where dreams of financial independence and success fuel the aspirations of millions, multi-level marketing companies MLMs, have managed to seize the attention of eager individuals seeking a better life. But beneath the veneer of opportunity lies a treacherous path paved with broken promises and shattered dreams. MLMs like Herbalife, Avon, Lularo, and Anway have long been embroiled in controversy as they are often mischaracterized as pyramid schemes. However, what I'm here to tell you that they are even worse than pyramid schemes and the reasons behind this claim will leave you astonished. The structure of MLMs is intricate and the way they operate varies among different companies. However, the central concept remains constant. Participants become independent business owners by paying an entry fee and receiving a product pack to sell at a markup. Moreover, they are encouraged to recruit friends and family members, who in turn will share a portion of their commissions. The commission structures are designed to be intentionally convoluted, leaving new recruits bewildered about their financial situation. Critics argue that the line between MLMs and pyramid schemes is blurry, but the Federal Trade Commission FTC, has made efforts to differentiate the two. While pyramid schemes focus solely on recruitment, MLMs provide products, albeit often of questionable quality. This distinction becomes crucial in the legal realm, where lobbying efforts by the MLM industry have been substantial, pushing their narrative that money changes hands only when a product is sold. However, it is the very products offered by MLMs that make them far worse than pyramid schemes. Victims of pyramid schemes may lose up to 90% of their investment, which is undeniably harmful. But MLM participants suffer even greater losses, with an average return of around 30% of their invested capital. The actual returns for most individuals are often much lower, and many struggle to achieve even modest financial gains. The products sold by MLMs are often overpriced and of supper quality, leading to customer dissatisfaction and exacerbating the financial woes of MLM participants. To maintain the facade of success, MLMs rely on high-volume sales. Consequently, the products are priced exorbitantly, with the companies adding overhead costs to pay out bonuses. These inflated prices often far exceed the market value of similar products, making them unattractive to potential customers. Additionally, MLMs employ psychological tactics to manipulate their members and prospects. New recruits are encouraged to leverage their existing social networks, targeting friends and family to sell products or join the business. MLMs frequently target isolated cultural groups or communities that may be less informed about the industry's negative reputation or inherently more trusting of their own members. This tactic results in MLMs forming multiple pyramids, each led by a charismatic leader. The Mormon community, for instance, is overrepresented in MLMs due to cultural values that prioritize women staying home to raise children. This leaves them with fewer opportunities to earn income, making the promise of financial freedom from MLMs particularly enticing. Additionally, Mormons' strong social network and inherent trust in one another create a fertile ground for MLMs to thrive. Similarly, migrant communities are also targeted by MLMs, as individuals seeking social connections and additional income are drawn to the promise of MLMs. The MLM system revolves around social relationships, making it difficult for members to leave the scheme once they realize the lack of financial gains. To maintain control over members, MLMs encourage them to sever ties with friends or family who are critical of the business, reinforcing their dependence on the MLM community. Beyond financial losses and strained relationships, MLMs often promote a culture of misinformation and pseudo-empowerment. Members are convinced that they can achieve financial independence by following the MLM system. In reality, the vast majority of participants end up disappointed and disillusioned. However, the most insidious aspect of MLMs is the exploitation of aspirational members seeking success within the business. The MLM system is structured to profit from members at all levels with top-ranking members capitalizing on the desperation of those lower down the pyramid. High-ranking members often use their positions to sell overpriced books, seminars, and courses, all designed to maintain members' belief in the NLM's promise of success. The tragic irony is that only a few individuals at the very top of the NLM hierarchy make significant profits, and they do so by exploiting the dreams of those further down the pyramid. These top earners manipulate the system, benefiting twice, once from their MLM earnings and again from the sales of courses and seminars. In contrast to pyramid schemes, which are limited in scope, MLMs often present a polished image and have the resources to run powerful lobbying efforts. Their influence allows them to operate in the open, even without full transparency about their practices. This freedom enables MLMs to exert an extensive impact, particularly on isolated communities and cultural groups, causing financial, social, and emotional harm. 
The lobbying power of MLMs is significant, with companies like Herbalife spending substantial amounts on federal lobbying. This influence has allowed MLMs to escape the label of pyramid schemes, despite compelling evidence of their exploitative practices. The funds channeled into lobbying efforts could have been better utilized to address the systemic issues within the MLM industry and protect individuals from financial ruin. Moreover, MLMs often engage in deceptive marketing tactics to attract new recruits. They present the business opportunity as a path to financial freedom and independence, preying on individuals' desires for a better life. However, the reality is that only a tiny fraction of MLM participants ever achieve significant financial success, while the majority are left struggling to make ends meet. High-ranking members are often portrayed as successful entrepreneurs living luxurious lifestyles. They flaunt their extravagant bonuses such as free cars and expensive jewelry as a testament to the MLM's promise of success. These displays are intended to entice new recruits and reinforce the illusion that financial freedom is just around the corner. However, the truth behind these lavish displays is often far from glamorous. High-ranking members face immense pressure to maintain their status and continue selling the dream of success to those beneath them in the NLM hierarchy. As a result, they often find themselves trapped in a vicious cycle of high expenses to keep up appearances and a constant need to recruit new members to sustain their income. Furthermore, MLMs enforce a culture of conformity and unwavering loyalty to the company. Members are encouraged to distance themselves from friends and family who are critical of the business, isolating them from their support networks. This isolation reinforces the dependence of members on the MLM community and makes leaving the scheme even more challenging. In addition to financial losses, participants in MLMs often suffer emotional and psychological damage. The pressure to maintain rank and recruit new members can lead to feelings of stress, anxiety, and inadequacy. Many members end up feeling trapped and unable to leave the NLM as their entire social circle and identity become intertwined with the business. The harmful impact of NLMs extends beyond individual participants. MLMs have faced numerous legal battles and allegations of deceptive business practices. For instance, Herbalife, the third largest MLM company globally, faced a year-long investigation by the FTC. Although the company was not classified as a pyramid scheme, it was required to pay a $200 million settlement. Such legal battles are not isolated incidents and MLMs have faced numerous lawsuits and accusations over the years. Additionally, MLMs have come under scrutiny for their recruitment tactics in educational institutions. Many MLM representatives target college campuses, where young and impressionable students are often seeking part-time work or additional income. The promises of financial freedom and flexible work hours can be alluring to college students facing financial pressures. The recruitment of college students into NLMs has raised ethical concerns, as these young individuals are often unaware of the potential financial risks and the exploitative nature of MLMs. Moreover, their involvement in MLMs may divert their attention from their studies and academic pursuits, leading to potential long-term consequences for their future careers and financial stability. The negative impact of MLMs on vulnerable communities has led to increased calls for regulation and consumer protection. The FTC's income disclosure statements have shed light on the alarming disparity between the earnings of top-ranking members and the financial struggles faced by the majority of NLM participants. These disclosures underscore the need for greater transparency and accountability within the NLM industry. Furthermore, there have been calls for enhanced financial education to empower individuals to make informed decisions about their involvement in MLMs. Educating individuals about the deceptive practices and financial risks associated with MLMs can help protect them from falling victim to these schemes. In conclusion, multi-level marketing companies like Herbalife, Avon, Lularo, and Amway have long faced accusations of being exploitative and deceptive. While they may present themselves as legitimate business opportunities, their business models often leave participants in financial ruin and emotional distress. The inflated prices of products, the pressure to recruit new members, and the manipulation of vulnerable individuals all contribute to the harmful impact of MLMs. Efforts to differentiate MLMs from pyramid schemes and their powerful lobbying influence have allowed MLMs to operate freely, despite compelling evidence of their exploitative practices. It is essential for consumers and communities to remain vigilant and informed about the true nature of MLMs and to advocate for greater regulation and consumer protection. Ultimately, empowering individuals with financial education and promoting transparency within the MLM industry can help protect vulnerable individuals from the allure of MLMs and their damaging consequences. As a society, we must prioritize the well-being of individuals over the profits of these controversial companies to create a fair and equitable business environment. 
Only through collective action and awareness can we address the systemic issues within the NLM industry and safeguard individuals from the harmful effects of NLMs. This was all for today. One hope you liked the video. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. Stay safe, and we will be right back soon with another video. For more information, subscribe and watch other videos from our channel.